Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delta programming series. So we have already learned how to use copy, delete and pause. But today we're going to be practicing those free ones um, before we move on to if statements because the, the next video is going to be about if, if statements. I just want to um, you know you you know use these free um, over the, these two functions and one procedure to just get um, some practice into it. So here's our program. Um, we have an edit, edit component here with some values. Um, first is it is my surname, then my name, my gender, my age, and my city. So what we want today is to display it nicely. Basically, our end goal is to, our, our end goal is to display it. Let's just go to Notepad. Is to display these items in the memo. Nicely organized. For instance, we want to want it to display like this: surname, result, name, Sean, gender, male, age, eighteen, city, Bloomfontein. This is our goal. We want it to, it to display like we want it to, do, um, to take the the data and convert it basically to this. Like yes. So let's start coding. First, let's add the variable. We'll just call it uh, s temp because it's just a temporary string. Okay. Uh, First, let's set the s temp assignment operator to the add one dot dot text. So how would we actually go about this? Well, first we'll want to calculate where the comma is and then basically copy everything from the first character until the the T um, or before or, or, um, copy, or copy, copy it before I get one character less than the comma. So then we have result and then we want, we want to delete everything from the first character until the comma so that we are left with this String. I'll show you guys. Let's get currently. Let's copy this. Yes, currently, the temp string contains this information. So now what we want to do is say temp colon equals. Let's add uh, um, i post ETH. So this will hold. The position of a comma set post equals to the position of the comma in the S temp, and they will say so the S temp colon equals copy from S temp. Let's not have it as temp, sorry. Let's add an, another one um, called data. We we'll said data equals to the S temp. We we'll copy from the first character until the I post, but this will then include the comma. So we just want to say minus one to copy just before the comma. And then this will give us. Just my surname. They will delete this temp from the first character until the I pause. That means that this string will not have that anymore. So let's quickly test it. We'll just show message data. Message surname plus data. Okay, so we'll say click me. Oops, not show message. <laughs> so I'm just 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 used to it. Remember one dot lines dot add. Okay, 
So, as you guys can see, that clearly works. So basically, what we can do, we can actually just copy and paste this whole thing. What will happen? Then we will will now get shown from the string. Add it, align it nicely. So this will now get ah okay. This will get shown from the string, and then it will delete shown, and it will be left with mail. Let's test it. <coughs> Excuse me, click me as you guys can see. Let me just copy and paste this again. Now it will get male and gender. Then the delete will remove the male. Let's get my gender and then remove it. And I'm gonna gender my age. Oops. Compile. Sorry. So it work. So let's do the last one. If we do the last one like this, then we'll basically get Bloom Fontaine. And then basically, we want to remove everything until a comma. But it doesn't, but there isn't a comma left. Let's compile this and see how it what it does. So it will just display. Uh, let me. F it displays nothing. I'll explain now. So because it tries to find the position of a comma, but the comma doesn't exist. So it just um, puts the position at the first character, which is basically zero, nothing, and then it copies from one until zero. So it copies nothing. That's why we have to remove this. Remove this. So we could just say copy from one till a thousand, for instance, because I'm sure my city name wouldn't be more than a thousand characters. So that would work, but of course it's um, we only have Bloomfontein Blue, Blue left in the temporary string. So we can just simply say is temp. Uh, boom that works guys so yep that's it for this video guys um, i hope this helped you guys to get a bit more understanding of how the post copy and delete works together and yes yeah, thanks for watching guys make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video where we will be learning the if statement so yes bye